she's not doctor. Is it a she or he? A boy. Well, he's not doctor who. He's doctor poo. <laughs> Colleen from Boston asks, do you own a Captain Jack action figure? And if so, how often do you play with yourself? I have many Captain Jack action figures. Uh, I have both the 6 inch and the 12 inch. Depending on how often I play with them during the day. Sometimes frequently. No, I, it's, uh, I, I don't play with myself. Um, the dolls. Uh, I do have in uh, my house in uh, the house we have in Wales. I have an office that's upstairs and uh, I have every magazine cover that I've been on. I have every kind of publicity shot that I've done. Mo you know, most of them I can fit on the walls but the, the ones I can't, there's a closet full of Captain Jacks. <laughs> My favorite, uh, and then I have a shelf where I have all of the action figures lined up. Um, so yeah, I, I do. I, I and I've tried to integrate the action figure also. I, I do. I, many of you who probably don't know what a pantomime is, but I do. Uh, pantomimes in the UK, which are traditional uh, British Christmas shows, and it's a way that I think is a great way to introduce young people to the theatre, and because uh, it's a family-oriented show, and I always somehow get my 15-inch Captain Jack doll involved, so... <laughs> Why not? I want to talk about uh, some of the new projects you've got on the horizon. You go ahead. <laughs> got a new book coming out in the fall. Yes. Co-wrote with your sister. Correct. So co-wrote your biography. Too. Yes. It's, uh, the book is, um, there's one right there. It's already out in the UK and it was, uh, it was doing exceptionally well. Uh, it was number two in, uh, the, what are the, the, the children's best-selling book list. I say it's a children's book. It's actually not. It's a book that my sister and I wrote. The book is called Hollow Earth. And uh, it's a book that we wrote because it's a book that we would have liked to have read. Uh, it's also a book, it's about twins who have uh, powers, and they are superpowers. They are animare, uh, which are, uh, they are able to draw whatever they see or copy drawings that they see and bring the drawings to life or put themselves and other people into the drawings. They, uh, they, they communicate through telepathy. And one thing that when Carol and I were uh, coming up with the ideas for the book and structuring the book, I wanted, to, we, we discussed that we wanted to have, uh, I don't know, I, I apologize because the politically correct words in the UK are very different from the words in the US. So if I say something that offends somebody, I'm absolutely apologizing. It's just my ignorance and not knowing what to say sometimes. But we wanted to pick, uh, make a, have a character who was, uh, um, he had a, a disability, but you weren't aware of that disability, and we, we chose uh, the character to be deaf, but we turned him into the most communicative character, uh, you know, which you don't realize at the beginning until you get to know uh, the character himself. So we've, we've got a lot of different things in the book of things that we wanted to uh, point out, and it's about kids, it's about uh, parents, it's about family, it's, uh, uh, it's very exciting. I mean, have any of you read it? Yeah, it's really good, and most of the adults who are reading it, and reading it with their kids, uh, it's really good. We're in the process in the UK, We've, uh, we're selling the TV rights, we've already been approached about the film rights, um, yeah, which is really good, so I hope that we'll bring it, uh, Barrowman Barker Productions, which is my production company, which is uh, one of the things I created because I want to do programming that people like yourself like, uh, so we're hoping to bring that to the screens at some point. But, you know, if you don't read, it's available on uh, uh, for iPad, and it's available. Uh, you know, it's an electronic book. It's also uh, I still like to sometimes have books in your hand. It's available in November, uh, August, or November. November. I don't even know. I do know we're doing a, a promotional tour kind of thing for it. So uh, look forward to seeing my sister and I splashing around everywhere. And the, I, I, I'm not. Don't quote me on this, but I think we're doing some stuff in the U.S. Yes, but for the launch. Uh, you mentioned TV. You uh, care to talk about the pilot you just showed for ABC? I've just been in Boston uh, filming uh, a TV show for 
ABC called Gilded Lilies. It's uh, very different from uh, the, the sci-fi that I've, I've been you know, doing and that I love to do, but uh, I wanted to try something different. And when you're approached by uh, a, a company like ABC and also uh, you know, um, KJ, uh, our, the writer, and uh, um, uh, oh, Shonda Rhimes, who approached me, you know, who's Grey's Anatomy and all the, the kind of big shows at the moment, uh, I said absolutely yes. And the character is his name. His name is Julius Lilly. He is the kind of bad brother, uh, but I don't see him as being bad. He's all, in my eyes, very good, and he is. He's determined about the things that he wants. He's uh, naughty. Um, <laughs> He, he does a lot of things. Yeah, he is kind of like me in a way. And, uh, I, it wasn't a stretch to play. Uh, but I had a really good time, and we're just waiting to hear uh, from ABC. And I think when Scott and I are finished with our travels this, these next couple of weeks, it'll be about 10 days till we find out if we are going into production or not. So, uh, fingers crossed. I, I think it's something that people will really like, hopefully. Uh, care to talk about uh, two charities near and dear to you, Stonewall and Yes. Dog yes. Dog yes. Uh, well, the, you all know what Stonewall is, don't you? Uh, for those, of, uh, well, for those of you who don't, Stonewall is a, an organization that helps promote to promote uh, gay, lesbian, and transgender uh, equality and freedom throughout the world. And I myself, being a, an openly gay man and a proud gay man, I'm proud of who I am and, and what I stand for. It's an organization that have, uh, that I support and also have supported me. I, they voted me their Entertainer of the Year one year, and uh, I'm very proud of that. Uh, and so, you know, without being on the soapbox too much, it's just everybody should be treated equal. And if that's what we have to strive for, and if we have to uh, open our mouths and shout a little bit, then so we shall shout. Uh, also, Dogs Trust is a, I, you all know, if you don't, I'm a, an animal lover. Uh, I have three dogs, yes. Uh, a golden cocker spaniel named Charlie. He's gay. And uh, he sits like this. Doesn't he, Scott? And he looks at us like, he looks and goes, What? And then we have Harris. Harris a bit of a dumb one. He looks like, I want to play everybody! I want to come out and play! And then we've got Captain Jack, uh, who is a, a Jack Russell, and Jack's a thud. He goes, I'm gonna mess you up. <laughs> He's a, he's a bit of a, a, a hard a hard ass, yeah. You have an uh, auction going oh, on sorry, right no, Dogs Trust, yes. Do <laughs> I, I, I like to, I, I donate a lot of stuff to Dogs Trust. In fact, I, I just cleared out my closet. Uh, and I donated a lot of uh, suits and, and t-shirts and things and clothes. Pajama bottoms. Pajama bottoms and bathrooms. Well, if you want to get into his pants, you <laughs> You can, I think there be, there's an auction going on online for you, that you can go on and, uh, and do that. And all the money goes to a good cause because Dogs Trust, the reason I love them so much, they never put a, good, a healthy animal to sleep. They will wait until that dog is rehomed. And uh, it's a very sad thing to go visit Dogs Trust and I'm banned by Scott <laughs> to go visit because what happens every time I go, Scott? I bring home a dog. <laughs> It's, well, it's not a bad thing, but when you, you start getting up into the number, I could have hundreds of them, you know, but uh, yeah, yeah, anyway. So we're going to try to raise a little money oh. for Dogs Trust. Oh, good. C2E2 spares no expense. I have ten lightning fast questions. Ten lightning fast, okay. For every question you get right, I will give one dollar. <laughs> Make money. <laughs> and you know what? I will double that dollar. Winter in Cardiff or Chicago? Please no help from the audience. No from the audience. <laughs> well, I have to go based on my partner, Scott, because he would be with me. And he came when we were in Chicago. I know this is supposed to be lightning fast, but uh, <laughs> when he was last in Chicago and it was winter, his snot froze, so I'll have to say Cardiff. <laughs> that is correct. Yay! Fez or military overcoat? Whoa. Military overcoat. Chicago Red Hot or Haggis? Say it again. Red Hot, Chicago Red Hot, Hot Dog, or Haggis? Haggis. Oh, we were looking for Red Hot, I'm sorry. Well, Haggis is a lot thicker 
than a hot dog. Sondheim or Weber? Sorry, Andrew Sondheim. That was the correct answer. I'm sure it was. <laughs> Putting it together. <laughs> West End or Broadway? That's not fair. Because I have been offered other Broadway shows, and I've done two, and I was just offered another West End show, but... We'll take that's not fair. I'm gonna have... To, what? We'll take that's not fair. No, no but you take that's not fair, but I, at the, I, you know, going based on how many I've done in the West End... But because I want to do it, I'll say Broadway. <laughs> was that right? Broadway was the correct answer. It, it, it was the correct answer. Good. Chips or crisps? <laughs> Sorry. Well, if it was Scott, he'd say chips because when he was growing up, his fantasy was Eric Estrada. Um, actually, no, it was the blonde one, wasn't it? No, it was Eric Estrada. He likes that Latino thing. How you doing? Um, I'd have to say... Crisps. Correct. Thank you. Less fat. Stars or BBC? Oh. <laughs> How quickly they turn. BBC! <laughs> Hold on a minute. This is my question. Um, now, I'm going to have to get you to home in a little more, homie. Homo. <laughs> um, uh, are we talking BBC America or BBC One? BBC One. I'm sorry, I have to agree, stars. We were actually looking for BBC. I know you were. But without stars, we wouldn't have had True Torchwood. So that's why I have to say stars. Deep dish pizza or curry? Oh, I hate curry. Correct. <laughs> Deep dish pizza. A rose or a gilded lily? See what I did there? <laughs> no, what did you do there? <laughs> I would have to say be a gilded lily. Definitely. All right. <laughs> yeah. Who would you rather snog? The tenth doctor or the eleventh doctor? I'm going to have to just put my cards all on the table here because his nickname was David Ten-Inch. <laughs> and he was able to compete next to Captain Jack. I think it would have to be... I mean, he's, my, he's my doctor. Yeah, it's David. I'm sorry, we were actually looking for yes, please. <laughs> Question and final question. Complete the phrase. Oh. If it's not Scottish, it's. <laughs> Is this something I said? <laughs> if it's if it's not Scottish, it's not worth it. I don't know. Anybody? Anybody? What? <laughs> Is it? We don't get Saturday Night Live in the UK. <laughs> Is it? Okay, if it's not Scottish, it's crap. Brilliant. I think I should get that anyway, because I didn't know. You caught me off guard there. You've been such a good sport, I'm going to donate 50 bucks. Okay, and I'll add 50, so we've got 100.